what is up y'all it's your girl go my friend as y'all know from the title of this video it is wash time okay y'all so my hair still went from that last video with rinsing out my uh pre-poo and i have just had it ah, it hair i had it um wrapped up in a towel or whatever so this is my results my hair so freaking soft i don't even want to wash it like dog i wish y'all could feel it like it's so soft. My hands going right through that new growth. Like, it ain't nobody business, girl. Okay? Um, so, my next step is to wash it, as you guys know. If y'all watched my last video, if you did, here you go. I got this bottle from Sally's. It is a... I don't know what the name of the bottle is. Maybe conditioner, color, dye bottle, applicator. I think it's a dye applicator bottle. But anyhow, I got my Moisture and Shine Shampoo by Crema Nature. And I'm going to put this in my bottle. I got it already with water, like right here. Y'all can see that. So I'm just gonna put my shampoo in there. As y'all can see, hold on, let me let y'all see. See the shampoo falling in there. Okay. Oh, a good little squeeze of shampoo. And I'm gonna put this top on. And the reason why I use this is because it helps me better to get the shampoo directly to where it need to go, okay? And that's to the roots. Shake it up a little bit. Y'all know oil and water don't mix, so you gotta shake it. So, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. How y'all doing out there today? Hope everybody is doing good. Got my shampoo shook up. Mmm. And I'm just going to start shampooing and I put it directly to my scalp, okay? And this this shampoo is a sulfate-free shampoo, but it gives me good bubbles real quick, okay? Real quick. Real good. Okay? See the bubbles already right there? And I, and I got oil in my hair. Well, you know, leftover from the pre-poo. My hair is not, like, clean, clean at all. Usually... Usually you get suds on the second wash and some of my sulfate free shampoo, but this sulfate free shampoo give me suds on the first go around, honey, and I like that about it. I like that about it. I don't like the fact that I'm doing this and it's getting all over my face right now, but because I ain't got my headband that I had that I usually have, but it's okay. We just gonna go with the flow right now. I forgot the last video too, huh? And the key for me washing my hair is not scrunching my hair up in a ball. I still see people do that today, and I don't know why. Um, wash your hair and ball all your hair up to make sure it's clean. Don't do that. Just go down in your scalp area. That's where you scrub it. Like my fingers is on my scalp area. Y'all can see this good? Yeah, my fingers is on my scalp area. So that's what needs to be clean is my scalp. My hair needs to be clean too, but we're not going to focus on that because whatever's run off from the scalp is what's going to clean the hair. Okay? All right. That's how I do mine now. Y'all wash y'all hair however y'all feel like it. But this is the way. The truth. And the light. Okay? Now, as for, as for this hair here, I'm not going to ball it up and do it like that. No, 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 no. That's a no, no. But then, what you're going to end up with is a detangled, detangling mess, okay? That's what you're going to end up with, for real. Trust me, I know. I used to wash my hair like that, y'all. I ain't just woke up and, and start washing my hair like uh, this today. Or whatever I tried to say, just did. you know what I'm talking about. I've been I've washing my hair balled up for years, but the best way to do it that I have done discovered, honey, is doing it like this. Because what you want to wash is that scalp, honey. Okay, see that? See that? See that scalp in there? Ooh, child. Make sure you don't ball this up. When you do come across your hair that's hanging, don't take it and ball it up with the, what you're doing, okay? Don't do that. You can ball it up like this, but don't ball it up and do like that. And screw oh, child, no. I just kind of do that and rake it down. 
Do not bow your hair up, honey, because you're going to be in for a rude awakening when detangling time comes. Detangling time is going to kick your behind, okay? Because that detangling time is the most uh, time where people lose the most of their hair in the detangling process. So that's the, the step you got to be extra careful with is detangling. Okay? That's why when you take your hair loose from a protective style, you got to detangle it before you wash it, okay? Before you wash it. Make sure you got all the kinks and knots out of the way before you wash your hair. Because if you take your hair loose out of protective style, because listen, I done did it so many times in my life. Um, if you take your hair out of a protective style and just have your hair straight out of braids or whatever, and you ain't combed through and get those tangles and knots out, honey, oh wee, oh wee, you hear me? <laughs> you gonna have a hard time. A hard time in the detangling process. Now, you might wash it real easy. Be like, ooh, I'm washing it so good. Then when it's time to uh, get them tangles out, honey, you're going to be upset. That part going to take you forever. Unless you got some good old slick hair. Okay, so that's that for this side. And that's going to do the same thing with the other side. And y'all know what I forgot. I forgot to put my peppermint oil in here. I did. I forgot to put my peppermint oil. I really want to go back and do it now. But I'm not. We're going to omit it for the day. And I can um, add it to my oils later. In my thing. Whatever. So I'm just going to pin that side up. And then I'm going to do the, the other side the exact same way. Okay? I don't think y'all need to see that. I don't want to make this video no longer than it got to be. Alright? Okay, y'all, so I am done shampooing my hair. So usually when I shampoo my hair, I let my shampoo sit for like a few minutes on there so it could, you know, break up the grease and stuff a little bit more. You know how when you soak the dishes in the sink, you put the you put the little d detergent there, put the water in there, and let it sit for a while so it can break up all the stuff that's stuck to it. That's, a th that's the same process I do with my hair. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to let it soak for a few minutes. Not not long, but like maybe three, four, five minutes. And then I'm going to go uh, wash it out. Probably like five minutes, five minutes. And then I'm going to go wash it out. And then I'm going to do exactly. I just did right now. I'm gonna do it again, and then I'll be back to show y'all what it looked like when it's completely rinsed out. Okay, so let me show, let me turn around and show y'all in the back. And that's what it looks like. So I'll be back when it's rinsed out. Okay. I thought I was recording this whole time. I wasn't recording, chap. Listen, what I just did was. I, I, I'm finna do round two, and so for round two, um, I made sure I just added a three quarters of a drop of peppermint oil in it, which is which is about that much. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's about right there, a little bit over half. Okay, I already added that to my shampoo because I like the tingle, y'all. I miss that tingling, and I put a little, I put another little bit of my shampoo, probably like one squeeze. And I put it in the bottle, shook it up because I don't need that much, okay? I don't need that much because I already shampooed it one time, okay? So this is what it looked like after getting shampooed that one time. It still feels soft and good and everything. So I'm just going to go through and do exactly what I did the first time. But again, shouldn't take that much um, effort this time because it's already been clean, cleansed one time. So those bubbles should be popping in a few, okay? Let's get enough suds on that and them bubbles is gonna be coming up and through that. Woo, I feel that tingling. <laughs> what you talking about, honey? That peppermint oil the truth. That peppermint oh Lord. Oh Lord, I mean I'm getting on my face, but yes. Love the feeling of the tingling sensation that that peppermint oil gives you, honey. If you ain't wash your hair with peppermint oil in your shampoo bottle. Baby, unless you don't like tingling on your scalp, because it's intense, okay? Depends on how much peppermint oil you put in there. Very intense. Now, as y'all can see, I'm still not grabbing the bottom of my hair. Once I get enough shampoo in it, on both, uh, at the top, I'm just going to drag it down the bottom. And I'm going to drag it down now. And then when I rinse it, I rinse it the same way. I drag my fingers down when I'm rinsing my hair. I rinse my hair in the kitchen sink. And I just let the water flow downwards. 
and I just let all of that fall off and I'm pulling this at the same time. I never at any time tangle the bottom of my hat up with the top, honey, cause baby, whoo! Y'all already know, I done told y'all. This is what it is, y'all. Take note, take note. Okay, now I'm finished with that section. Do the same thing to the other side. See, that didn't even take long. And then, I'm going to let this marinate up in there too because um, that peppermint oil, I'm going to let it go to work for a minute, okay? Ooh, child, the tingling is real. Alright, y'all. Like I said, I'll be back when I get done rinsing this out. Okay? Alright, y'all. I have washed my hair, shampooed, and I let it sit under this for like a minute or two. Well, yeah, a minute or two. And these are these are the results of me freshly washing, well, whatever, shampooing my hair. Woo! Ooh, it's so soft. Oh, my God. I don't even want to deep condition it. Do I have to? I don't have to. I don't have to, but I want to. So, I'm going to go ahead and then end this video here. And on the next video, we're going to deep condition, okay? All right, y'all. That's all I got to say in this video. Don't forget to shop my bonnet website, y'all. Because, honey, bonnet does the body good. And they have too. So, anyways, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. And that's all I got to say in this video. And I'll holler at y'all later. This African Ruby boot. Bye.